it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around 14th yeah around the 14th you know the timing is fluid right so what do we got for around the 14th Five of Swords. Now this is a battle, right? It is a battle. The Five of Swords. This is some sort of conflict. Uh, a lot of tension. It looks like war. I mean, it does look like a freaking war zone. You know? So it looks like we have a... We have a man down by the looks of things or a woman. Somebody's down. Looks like somebody's. It's gonna be helped up though. Uh, might be too late though. It might be too late. It looks as though. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it's too late to me. Um, I don't know. I hate to say that, but if you take a look at her, she's she's. You know, it looks like we. It's, I don't know. Um, Five of Swords, it could be too late. If it could be, I don't know if there's an accident or there's some sort of battle or fight and somebody uh, doesn't make it. Somebody could collapse. Something, somebody's on the ground. Somebody's obviously on the ground here. Um, five of Swords, that is, uh, A difficult situation it is definitely a diff difficult situation there could be some sort of I don't know abuse of some sort it's like help arrives but it looks like it I'm not sure it's in time uh, seven of cups reversed now seven of cups reversed is seeing clearly clarity no confusion making a choice somebody is making a clear choice they're seeing something very clearly. The lovers, this is the end of a contract. The lovers reverse. It's a separation. Okay? So we definitely have the end of a contract here. They're seeing very clearly that there's no reason to stay. It's it's over. Something is over. It's very clear. There could be a fight that makes somebody realize that it's over. Now, this, the lovers reverse is disharmony between couples it's 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 uh, a broken relationship a separation detachment a conflict as well we definitely have a conflict here these people are not meant to be something isn't meant to be um, so there's going to be a separation of some sort six of pentacles now six of pentacles is about receiving and it's also sacrifice. Um, it's about give and take. Somebody is about to receive. They're about to receive a gift of some sort. Um, it almost it's like this is a some sort of offering that is coming. Somebody is going to be receiving something, some some sort of offering after they separate. They may be seeking help, seeking, you know, uh, well, it looks like seeking help by the looks of things. There's going to be, and there, it's like there's, there's help, or help arrives, but it feels like it's, it's too late. Something is too late. Now this Six of Pentacles is generosity. Somebody is going to be receiving something. They're going to be receiving something that's going to help them. Help them to heal from this. Whatever it is. It's going to make them feel better. Somebody is going to receive something that makes them feel better. Five of Pentacles reversed. Uh help it's like here help arrives 
So if some sort of help is arriving after a separation, Five of Pentacles reversed. This that's like a major loss that leads to a turning point. This is a turning point, okay? This is like a wake up call of some sort. This loss makes somebody realize makes somebody realize something. <laughs> Makes them see clearly about equality, about who another person is. It's interesting. So there's a loss that basically makes somebody realize uh, what they did. You know what I mean? It's like what they abandoned, what they neglected. It makes them see humanity in a different light. So it's, it's very interesting. It changes a person's perspective. This is definitely a major loss. We have an unhealthy relationship here. An unhealthy partnership, okay? There's there's disharmony. There's, there's uh, fighting. There's power struggles. There's conflict, okay? Somebody was in this contract because they were living some sort of fantasy. They were living some sort of illusion. They were uh, refusing to see something, you know. They may have been trying to prove a point to somebody else. Uh, this is the end of a contract that was based on illusion. It was based on things. Okay, it was. It wasn't based on love. That contract is ending. There's going to be a separation. Somebody's going to be, they may be asking for help or they may be seeing, or they're definitely going to start to see something differently. They may need help. They may be ready to accept help. We have an individual here that did have a victim mentality and probably neglected somebody or abandoned or ghosted, ghosted or outcast or refused to uh, accept, refused to accept something. Their part, you know, it's interesting. But now it's time. It's like it's time to get life back on track. It's time, you know, this is like a spiritual wake-up call. Somebody is reevaluating their choices. They're reevaluating their battles. They're reevaluating their choices. Somebody is, is reevaluating their choices and they're seeing something differently. They, I feel like somebody left somebody really in a bad condition as well. You know, they left, they, they hurt another person really, really badly. And, you know, they're seeing it. They're realizing it or something like that. But that five of swords, that is a battle. That is, that is the end because somebody's on the ground. It's like, it's too late. It's too late. So it's interesting. Um, death. Death. So somebody, I'm, I'm not sure what is happening, but that's what I was saying when it's too late, when I showed you her picture. And you know, I'm not sure what is happening here, but I'm wondering if, you know, I don't know what's going on, but the card speaks for itself. Uh, this is an ending. Okay, somebody, it's and it's clear. It's clear that it's over. Death is an ending. Okay, and you see, these are both separations. So there is a separation that is happening. And it, it happens because... It isn't, wherever they're at, it's not meant to be. There's too much conflict. There's too much, uh, too much fighting. Um, but anyway, that death card is a major ending. It is a pro pro 
profound change, seeing clearly that it's time to go. Somebody is seeing clearly that it's too late and it's time to go. They're seeing, and this is seeing the light as well. So it feels like we have, there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, that, that's what this is. And I feel like somebody is seeing the light. They're, they're seeing that they, there's no reason to stay in this contract. There's, it's too much. Okay, it's, it's, it is, it's too much. But anyhow, um, we could also have somebody that is overdoing it with that Seven of Cups. That could be drinking. It could be drinking too much. You know. Um, this is an ending of some sort with a new beginning to follow. This is a separation and a loss of a partner. Okay? That's what this is. Of a partner that... Uh, may have brought a lot of tension into a contract. They may have caused a lot of animosity. There just was a lot of power struggles, a lot of conflict. But, but that's over now because it's over. This is the end of a contract, okay? It is. It's clearly over. It is over. It's, there's no life left here. High priestess, she knows. The high priestess knows. She's very intuitive. This, this is like somebody that uh, sees. Has been waiting. Has been waiting for the moment. Has sensed that this moment was coming. The high priestess is very receptive, very reflective, keeps to herself, and doesn't have a lot of friends. Silent, keeping to herself, not communicating, waiting, waiting for this uh, moment, waiting to receive. So we do have a high priestess that is very self-sufficient and independent and spiritual. This high priestess has been... Uh, keeping to herself, she is, I feel like this high priestess is, is about to receive something. Now, the six of pentacles, that is rece receiving, I don't know if it's money or a gift. Somebody is going to be receiving a gift. This is actually a gift. I feel like we have somebody here that has been, you know, outcast. They've been struggling, but now they're about to receive. They're about to receive some sort of recognition, maybe for their gift. Because it's interesting because we have a gift here. We definitely have a gift. Somebody's receiving a gift. Now the high priestess, she knows. She knows. She sees. She believes. She's very spiritual. She's about to receive an offer. She is. <laughs> the tower. The tower. Now this is a shock. This is absolutely a shock. This is a sudden change. Profound change. This is uh, light being shed on a situation. So there's going to be an event. It's going to be a surprise, okay? This is a surprise. This is a shock. This comes out of nowhere. This is a rude awakening. This false contract is about to end. It's going to end very suddenly. This is like a sudden death. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Sudden ending. For those of you that didn't want to hear that. Sudden separation. 
sudden loss of a contract that is built on false pretenses. This will give somebody an opportunity to start with a clean slate. This is like this 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 is definitely comes out of nowhere. This there definitely could be a fight too. There could be health problems. Somebody is going to clearly see. They're going to see very, very clearly that this is not meant to be. That it's that it's it's time, because the light is going to be shed. Something is going to be shown. Some this is like being cracked open. There could be an accident. There could be an accident. Something can, there could be a fight. There could be a conflict. Whatever it is, there is a separation here where somebody hits the ground. Okay? Because this hits the ground. Somebody, it feels like somebody collapses. They hit the ground. Or they just give up. They may go ask, you know, a church for help. If you know, and if inter interesting because, you know, it feels like we have somebody here that doesn't have any money, you know, and the and the church can help. And I don't know where that's coming from, but I saw that a minute ago. Um, so something now is going to happen very, very, very fast with this Knight of Wands. This is you're going to have to think fast. Okay, somebody is coming in fast. They are moving very fast. This is this is somebody that has no fear. Very impulsive decision. Somebody makes a decision. It's like they get this vision and they just do it. So somebody is going to do something very, very impulsive. They're going to act on their desires. They're going to act on their on their passions this could be passionate love or hate so somebody is going to act on their passions they are going to move very very quickly towards whatever it is that they are seeing in their head they got this vision they're going for it this is no stopping this person this person is is uh, very 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 um has passionate beliefs You know, I almost feel like there could be a, you know, I don't want, I hate to say this, but I, hopefully there's not. There could be a fire because I, I just, I don't know why, but anyhow, and this is where lightning, you know, something is like, this is crazy. It is crazy. Anyhow, I do feel as though uh, you need to be prepared. You need to be prepared to, uh, I mean, that five of swords is, is a battle. Five of swords is a battle. Okay, that is feeling defeated as well. We may have somebody here that is defeated. They've been defeated by a false contract. You know, this is definitely the end of a false contract. Somebody's walking away. It's over. It feels like there could be some abuse here as well. Anyhow, somebody's false sense of security, their false foundation is about to crumble. And I tell you what, it's going to crumble fast. This is a this is definitely a rude awakening. This is like where you're sleeping and all of a sudden, you know, the the lightning strikes and you like I said, I said this recently, you jump right out of your bed or you jump right out of your chair. You know, it's like all of us it's like this is a shock. It's a huge shock. Now, this is a shocking arrival, a sudden arrival. So we do have a sudden arrival here. There is some sort of uh, disgrace, though. There's a feeling of disgrace, embarrassment. 
with these two cards. Somebody may be embarrassed. They don't need to be embarrassed. There's no need for embarrassment. Nobody's perfect. I feel like we have some destruction here. Things are about to destruct. There's going to be some sort of destruction, okay? Get prepared. Whatever this is, somebody is going to see clearly that this isn't stable. They're going to see that it is based, it's not strong. That's based on false pretenses. Okay, it's false. It's not real. This is a false contract. False contract. It, it is. It is. This false contract is absolutely ending. Somebody is going to uh, go after what they desire. Okay? And they're going to do it all of a sudden. It is a sudden. It's all of a sudden. All of, It's a sudden change. Sudden change. Okay? All of a sudden, somebody sees very, very clearly that they don't want to be in the contract they're in. And they may go beg for help from somebody else. I'm just saying. Anyhow, I think that uh, you, there's, a, there's, the, there's a surprise that's coming. I feel like you don't see it coming, but it's coming, <laughs> okay? So, I mean, hey, get prepared, get prepared, okay? That's all I can really say, okay? We, we have a contract that is not stable, okay? We have a partnership that is not stable. There's going to be a conflict, and there's going to be a disconnection and a detachment, all right? There's a one-sidedness here. We got unrequited love. And there's going to be a separation. Okay? There is absolutely going to be a separation. Somebody, and it's going to happen. It's going to come out of nowhere. Okay? I feel like somebody is headed towards this high priestess. You know? I feel like that's what's going on. I feel like we got a high priestess here who is very much... I mean, the high priestess is alone. Okay? The high priestess is alone. She's alone or she doesn't need anybody. Okay? Um... She's very spiritual, works on her spirituality, could be a spiritual teacher, doesn't have a lot of friends. The high priestess does, isn't the, isn't the woman or the man on Facebook with, uh, you know, 200, 300, 500, 1,000 friends. That is not the high priestess. The high priestess is, 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 is laid back, very laid back, does not share all of her secrets. She keeps to herself. She doesn't have any friends, very few. She can't keep secrets with friends. Anyhow, so I feel like this high priestess is about to receive an offering that, uh, she doesn't expect. Could even be an apology of some sort. Anyhow, this is a keeper of secrets. Okay, she keeps she keeps secrets. Time's up. Good luck.